Hi guys, if you are like me, you probably want to know the air quality of your room, mainly the CO2 levels, since the CO2 can influence your study abilities and your concentration and also your happiness. So in this video, I will show you how to measure the CO2 levels with a, with a DIY project using an Arduino and a, a CO2 sensor. And also we will use another sensor that will measure the temperature and the humidity since the humidity can also influence your well-being. So with this said, let's jump directly explaining what is CO2 and what levels are dangerous and what levels are nominal. So when you sleep, you normally have your door closed and your window closed if it's winter. If it's summer, normally you keep your window open so there shouldn't be a problem. But when you sleep, the CO2 levels increase, increase, increase. And in a small room can get to 2,500 ppm or, or even more. And uh, with studies, it said that over 2,000 ppm, you will have difficulties in studying and you will have headaches. Uh, at levels from 1,000 and 2,000 ppm, you will start to feel a bit bad, but it's not a big deal. And uh, below 1000 ppm it's nominal and you will be okay so these values of co2 levels are important to be known so we know when we will have to open the window and also to understand how to change our habits of opening and closing the window for this project we will use a non-dispersing infrared principle co2 sensor uh, called mhz19cph this sensor uses an infrared light source and an inlet and outlet of airflow and can measure the CO2 levels by reading the amount of light that will be received to the receiver uh, since CO2 will block a bit of that infrared light if the CO2 levels increase. For measuring humidity and temperature, we will use an E2C high precision digital temperature and humidity sensor and uh, for showing the data that we will uh, receive from the CO2 sensor and from the humidity and temperature sensor, we will use a E2C Blue OLED LCD display SSD1306. We will also use a little switch to decide what to show in the display and we will be also able to turn off the display since when sleeping maybe the light will be disturbing. As a microcontroller, we will use an Arduino and uh, for the wiring, now I will show you a drawing uh, showing how to do it. So we will use uh, a few pins of the Arduino, the pin 2, 10, 11, SDA and SGL for each uc and of course the GND and VCC that are 5 volts. We will use a capacitor so to deal with the power surges asked by the CO2 sensor and the switch will be connected to, to the VCC and to a resistor so that we will be able to read the, the switch. Other than that, for the CO2 sensor, we will use UART communication. So we will use the G and D pin, the V in pin, the TX and the RX pin. We will have to notice that uh, th this component isn't five volt tolerant in the TX and the RX pins. And so we'll have to divide the voltage with, uh, with two resistors so that the, in the RX pin we'll give it 3.3 volts since the Arduino by default gives 5 volts. Other than that, for the display and the, and the temperature and humidity sensor, we will have only to connect the GND and VCC and STI and SGL pins together. Uh, as I show you here, it's uh, really basic since the STI and uh, E2C protocol allows you to connect more sensors in the same uh, with the same cables we will go to the arduino ide to program our program and uh, we'll use a few libraries but I, I will give you everything in the description there will be a link to a forum where i will post old codes that you will need to make your air monitor so what is important to know in this code the most important things to know in this code are the, the following. First of all, we will have to choose the screen address that by default is 0, 0x3c. And we'll have also to set display uh, height and width 
since if you have another display you will have to change these parameters other than that we in the setup we will make a few checks if all the sensors are connected correctly and if they are connected correctly the code will continue in the void loop we will have three ifs that will check uh, the number of times we we click in the button and uh, depending on the button click it will show a different thing in the display also we'll check the co2 levels every two seconds and another interesting thing that we can notice is this part that it's the, the part that if you have to change if you want in your bar graph to change the time it will make a new line so in this case it's half an hour so in each half an hour it will make a new bar with a co2 reading but if you want for example to have a reading each hour you can change here with this number or with the number you want it to read a, a new CO2 level. And here are a few functions that uh, I used to make that data. This part is the part that prints the CO2 data in a graph. And by default, it puts the array graph with the value 400. And after each call, it will change the value of each of the components of the array. After putting this code in your Arduino, by clicking here, the Arduino will work, I hope so, and uh, you will be able to know the CO2 level uh, and the humidity and temperature. So here we, you can see me pressing the button and uh, changing the display uh, view. Now we are seeing the graph, now it's uh, all black, and now we can see the other parameters. Here in the graph part, we can see a few bars. The top bar, uh, the top horizontal bar shows uh, the 2000 level. The other bar shows um, the 1000 level and the two small bars show the 500 and 1500 ppm level. Uh, that small point on top shows in what point the graph is refreshing and it's uh, the, the current time. And yeah, so pressing the button, we, you can see here the temperature on top and the humidity on, on the middle and on the bottom, the CO2 level in PPM. So I hope you will be able to do your own air monitor and uh, yeah, see you next time.